Hello and welcome to this install Maya tutorial. We're going to start by going to Autodesk Maya. Free software for students and educators right here. Okay, so this is the sign in page if you're trying to get to Maya. So you see here it is Autodesk.com Education Free Software Maya. If you want to be able to look at the versions, operating system, language, any of the options, you have got to sign in. If you don't have an account already, you can create one right here. I already have a pre-existing account. It's going to send me a code. This is the first time I'm logging in with this computer. So this will probably happen to you at home. It's no big deal. Okay, and then now, since I'm already, since I already have an account, I can just simply look at the version. If this is your first time doing this, it is going to ask for verification that you're a student. All you have to do is take a quick picture of your student ID and upload it to here. It's as simple as that. You don't need anything else. You probably want to get the same exact version you're using for your class. So if you're unsure, check with your instructor and ask them which one were you using so that you can match it. But if you're not in a capstone, it's always better to take the latest. I have a Windows 64 operating system and the language, obviously, I'm going to choose is English. Now, something to consider before you download. If you have any kind of virus protection software, like I have Norton, it's really important that you come in here and turn it off because this is going to interfere. So I'm going to just turn it off temporarily. Never want to keep it off for too long. I'm just going to use it for an hour. I'm going to hit OK. Of course, it's going to freak out, but that's fine. I'm going to close it, and then I'm going to resume. So I'm going to let it install. Of course, you know, accept. What else can you do? OK, so obviously, we do trust Maya. going to ask you where you want to install it. If you have an SSD drive I would, with enough space, I would suggest that you have it go there. That's where it's going for mine, but usually its default directory is just fine. Um, for Magic, you're definitely going to need Arnold for Maya 2020, Bitfrost extension for Maya 2020, and Substance for Maya 2020. It really depends on what your instructors are doing, but just to be on the safe side, just install everything. Now it's just going to run through. So as you saw, Maya needed to restart the computer. It's nothing to be concerned about. That's a normal part of the installation best thing to do is once after you install it is to actually make sure that everything is running properly. So we're just going to quickly run Maya 2020 to make sure that it's good to go. we we'll say we agree. And then we're going to activate. And we're going to put in our serial number now. So it was 900. You see there it's for three years. So you'll have Maya well after you graduate. And then if you go on to get a bachelor's program, see, now it's activated. I have, this is not a trial anymore. And we'll just let Maya do its thing. You know, for me, I'm going to say copy old preferences because I've been using Maya for years. But if you've never used it, you could just have create default preferences. It's up to you. Just gonna let it run. So you can see Maya 2020 looks a lot like Maya 2018. It's not an extreme update. Okay. And there you go. Maya's looking okay to me here. Everything looks like it's all right. 
it is pretty much set up to the way I had it before. Gotta give my a chance when it first installs. Um, this is actually really helpful right here. Um, I would not have this on so it doesn't keep showing up, but you definitely want Maya to highlight what's new. You can see everything that has green brackets around it is a brand new feature. And if you go down every single menu, you're going to see there's some green ones in there. Right there. See remesh, retopologize. That looks really interesting. I'm going to test that out later. But this is how you really know if you've got an extreme new Maya or there's just a few updates. doesn't look that extreme. I'll go to animation. Look, there's an audio tab now, which never existed. That looks good. I'm going to check here. Yeah, there's a lot more green going on in animation. Ooh, new warp. Okay. Same thing for rigging. Let's see what Maya's got this time. Doesn't look like a whole lot has changed in rigging. Looks like a few things. Very minimal change. And then we'll go to rendering. Let's see what they got for you there. Got very, very few things going on. Yeah, relatively nothing. So it looks like the biggest changes here happened with animation, which is fine. I'm going to switch my back to modeling because I primarily model. And so far, so good. My cube is okay. Looks good. I should note that the light gray background has nothing to do with this version. It's just a preference. So if you hit Alt B, you can change it back to whatever you want. I just like it that color sometimes. So we'll close this out. And that is how you install Maya 2020 into your PC.